John with the Electronic Flea Market Part 2. So, how many of you know what I mean when I say electronic flea market? Can anybody guess? eBay. Yeah. eBay. Oh. Okay. eBay. So, some of you heard I did a speech about sterling silver. I collect antique sterling silverware, and I like to go to flea markets. And uh, for about the first year I was doing it, the guy I mostly sell to kept telling me, John, you can buy on eBay. You can make money on eBay. And I kept thinking, how can you make money on eBay? Because there's millions of people, and I assume buyer sellers, and everyone knows the price. How can you possibly compete against the whole world and find a good buy? But I finally started doing it, and what I found was you can make money on eBay. And so today I'm going to teach some of you maybe how to do it. Maybe not. Who here has a hobby, some kind of a hobby, that collects stuff? Ken, what's your hobby? Tango uh, dance. I'm talking about physical things. Does anyone collect? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's say Tim collects baseball cards for the sake of this. So a few things about eBay. First, you have to set up a PayPal account and this and that. And once you've done that, the thing to always keep in mind is, like I said, eBay is like a giant flea market. How many have used eBay? A few. So some of you know what I'm talking about. And another thing about eBay is, I'm talking about mostly buying stuff that's good buys, and buyers don't pay any fees. So you're just paying the price there, you don't have to pay any commission. So once you have your PayPal account, I'm looking for sterling silver, Tim is looking for baseball cards. So the thing about eBay, like I've said at 13, picture a giant flea market where some people, they know Say for baseball. Some people know exactly what they have. They'll give you a, a huge description with 50 pictures of the Babe Ruth baseball card. And they'll set an auction price of $10 and it'll be bid up to 5000 because that's what it's worth. Everyone knows that. Someone else might have the Babe Ruth baseball card or Sterling Silver in my case. And they'll just snap one picture and maybe have a two sentence description. So just like the flea market, you have to weed through, um, in this case, all of eBay might have millions of things, but then there's categories. So the key is to find those things that are good deals, baseball cards, sterling silvers. How do you do that? First of all, you go to categories. So for baseball cards, you might go to uh, collectibles, baseball, sporting goods, whatever. So you start off by going, say, to uh, sports collectibles, and you start looking through. Now, another key that I've learned, because I told you in another speech that I don't have a computer, I just use, I do everything on this. I don't have a regular job, so I can get back to this. But what I learned about this is actually for eBay, the best way to work it is with a mobile phone, because one of the ways you're gonna have to look through, not millions, but say, hundreds or thousands of auctions is if you have a mobile app, you can actually click through super fast. And you can look through, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred auctions in a few minutes. You're just looking for what specific things. So say we go to uh, collectibles for sporting goods. You have your PayPal account. You have a few thousand dollars. You're ready to buy stuff. And you start looking for baseball cards. Now two maybe he collects uh, old White Sox players. Maybe they're worth five or 10 bucks, and maybe he's looking for that big score of like the Joe DiMaggio card. And then he'll start to see, you know, most of the cards, sure, you're not gonna get a good deal because they know what they have, but every once in a while, you might see a picture of uh, someone selling a box of baseball cards with like one picture in a shoe box and description might say, baseball cards from the 70s. So it's like a guessing game. So what you could do is you could ask the seller questions to kind of see what's going on. Sometimes they post the questions, sometimes they don't. Now, I'm talking about auctions. And sometimes you can get good deals, sometimes you can't. But there's another way 
to get a real, and all this takes a little time. Maria, <laughs> she's going to Dubai and all these places, you know, might not be the thing for her, but maybe um, if you lose your job or something or you have some time to fill, it's something you want to try. But another way, besides getting an auction, the best way actually for anything, if you collect uh, sterling silver, maybe even if you're buying a car or china or jewelry, the best way to get a good buy is to look for the buy it now. <coughs> buy it now is like flat price, like eBay has auctions. They have all kinds of stuff. Auctions with the reserve minimum price you have to hit. Others are just start at a dollar and whatever happens. But buy it now, someone sets a set price. And the way to get the buy it now is to find someone that doesn't know what they're doing. Ken one asked me, one, once asked me, do you ever feel guilty that you bought, someone from, <laughs> bought something from someone that didn't know what it's worth? No, Ken, I don't feel guilty. This is America. <laughs> it's capitalism. It's about business. So the best way to get a deal, you have your mobile app. Can I do it for Sterling Silver? I'll be sitting at home. Nothing to do. Sterling Silver. <coughs> Buy it now. And you have to be the first one. Just to give you an example, a few months ago, uh, Sterling silver is worth about $25 an ounce. And usually, if someone is selling a plate or something, they'll list the weight, they'll have a picture of sterling. So a plate popped up on Buy It Now. It was a sterling silver, uh, four ounce plate, $25. Right away, I know it's $100. But the key is to see there's probably hundreds or maybe dozens of people all over. I only buy in the US and North, North America. I don't deal with you. <laughs> that there are scammers on eBay too. So the thing is, you have a good buy it now deal or a baseball card, if it's the Babe Ruth card for 50 bucks. You have to be the first one to see it. So you have to be lucky. Generally, within a minute, we'll be gone. So you have to be lucky to a certain extent and you have to constantly be clicking, but you can find good deals with the buy it now. And there's also buy it now best offer. Best offer, you'd be surprised, like when I go to an antique shop, generally many people will go down as much as half in price. So you could just flick through the baseball cards, the collectibles, what have you. And just and all these things I'm talking about, like uh, buy it now, best offer. You can pretty much type in these specifics so that only the, those auctions pop up. So you can type in like, and then you can also do individual searches for specific things. So sometimes when I'm at home with nothing to do, I'll type in uh, sterling silver bowls, buy it now, and only best offers. And then I'll look at stuff, and uh, sometimes I'll offer half the price or three quarters. And every once in a while, someone will accept it, and I make some money. It takes time, like I said, I'm not the world's most interesting person, but um, so there's different ways to play eBay. A few other things I'm looking here, just because the kind of an impromptu speech. A few other things, like I said before, to run life, but there are scammers on eBay too. And every once in a while, you'll get a scammer, or you'll make a mistake where, with the buy it now, you gotta be the first one in 10 seconds, or someone else is gonna get it. So sometimes, you don't read the full description, and you buy it now. And I've done that. And I bought it, and I overpaid by $300. And I was getting it. All of a sudden, I feel like, well, what you do, you can hit buy it now, but actually, until you pay for it, that's the key. So what do you do? So you send the person a message, and believe it or not, just about everyone on eBay, just like the world's population, are good people. Send them a message, you say, hey, I misread your app. It's not what I thought it would be. I know I could buy it now. I'm so sorry, but could you cancel the transaction? And that is always the way to get out of a deal that you don't like. I'll leave it at that because I've run over, but hopefully I've given you a few ways to become eBay, well, maybe half known.